Hi, it's beautiful Tuesday, transformational Tuesday. I'm so happy you're here with me. And I've been listening to something so amazing. I'm a little bit obsessed and I want to share with you actually. Last night at like 1 a.m. in the morning, I was listening to something by uh, Michael Bernard and I, he was on Oprah's show. And the one phrase that he mentioned that just captivated me so much was um, pain pushes and then when and then your vision pulls something like that you push through your pain or pain pushes you and your vision pulls you and i thought that phrase was just so magnific mag magnificent that i just could not not share it was such a great phrase because honestly personally myself i'm going through a lot of things right now i've been mentioning that and i just wanted to share with you guys briefly um, when you're experiencing pain, you want to just organically push yourself out of that zone as fast as possible. At least that's for me. When you're in that zone and you just want to get out of it so fast, you're just pushing yourself. So when I heard that phrase yesterday, um, your pain pushes. So you push through pain and then your vision pulls. It's the best way to get out of any situation possible. When I heard that phrase, my jaw just dropped because that is so true because in the moments of pain, we're trying to push ourselves out of those situations. But if you're focused on a goal, it pulls you to get out and you actually get out of that state, out of that um, horrible um, situation and, that you're in and that painful situation that you're in, uh, it helps you get out of it a little bit faster. And that's true, that's so true. Let me tell you guys something. So I've been very open and I've expressed that I've been going through some crazy, crazy stuff lately, such as a really bad breakup, um, taking and dealing with my past. I've never truly dealt with it before, never talked about it, never opened up about it, never like completely just was vulnerable and actually opened myself on that kind of a state, you know, on that kind of a level. So me just doing that, opening up and sharing about all of my past experiences, whatever I've been through and what I'm currently going through, if that could help you, that's amazing. I want it to help you. I want it to heal some souls. I want to take care of you as well. And um, when I heard that phrase yesterday, that just completely, 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 completely just touched every single bit of me inside. I was like, that is so true. That's something I'm going through right now. So um, I encourage you guys to just focus on a goal that actually inspires you, makes you want to do something much greater than yourself. Um, me posting live videos. Oh my God, it's so much fun. So much fun to connect and talk to you guys. And I am going through a really bad breakup. I'm getting over it. Um, I've been pushing through as much as fast as possible as I humanly can, you know, girl got to take a break sometimes, right? Um, but when we focus on something that is much more interesting, much more exciting, and much more, um, that kind of sets your soul on fire, just makes you feel really good. I feel like that's very, very good. So I hope that you can find that for yourself and help and let it pull you out of your situation and then, and then um, have your pain push you. I thought that was such a great phrase. That was pure, brilliant, really, really brilliant. Um, it's like a Twitter status, right? Um, but, um, I've been really, really open with my past experiences, such as trauma that I experienced in my life as a child. Um, I've honestly, to be honest with you guys, I haven't really talked about it ever. I've never talked about it. Not once, not to my parents, not to my, well, I've only talked to my sisters once, um, about it. Such a horrible childhood, um. I don't blame anybody. I just couldn't figure out why people wouldn't listen, you know, why people wouldn't listen. And as a kid growing up, you try to tell everybody and no one listens. And that's like the hardest part for any child is that you're trying to break that silence, but no one's listening. And that's really, really hard when you're growing up because you're so young, you're so little, no one's listening. You don't know where to go. And you just feel hopeless. You feel hopeless. No one's there for you. And I've been very open about my past. I've been talking about my story to a handful of people, such as um, sexual abuse, for instance. You know, I've been talking about the rape. I've been talking about suicide. I've been talking about depression. I've been talking about uh, just bulimia, anorexia, all these things that's happened in my life. Now divorce, it's just, it's a whole bundle of things, you know, it's a whole bundle of things and how I cope with it. I want to share these kind of things too. 
I want to share them. I want to express them. I want to tell people that you can get out of these situations. There's nothing that's impossible in your life. You know, like you can make it through. If God's first, I truly believe you have to talk to your creator. You have to express your feelings. You have to be very open. You have to be very um, genuine. Can't hide anything. <laughs> I feel like when we lock things up, when we hide things, it actually kind of gets worse. Honestly, it gets really, really bad because then those are suppressed emotions that you never deal with. And then it just becomes like this bubble of energy that just kind of sits there waiting for it to pop, you know? So I feel like sharing is actually very, very important. And that's something I've never done in my life. I've never talked about it. I've never opened up. I've never expressed any of it either. So for me to just talk very openly about it and actually tell you guys my ways of coping, my ways of helping and my ways of dealing with things and my ways of expressing. I mean, it's just, um, it's nerve wracking. It's scary. It's a little bit uneasy and sometimes, you know, but I feel like the more you talk about it, the more um, you heal. And it's not always about you. I want to make sure you guys are being healed as well. I personally think storytelling and expressing our own experiences, we heal one another. We help one another. It's very, very, very good, actually. And um, um, I constantly talk about the story. Not that I dwell on it. I just never really talked about it. I've never talked about it. Never. I've only talked about it maybe only this year, you guys. I grew up just so locked up. I've never opened up about it. I've never told my ex-husband. I've never told anybody, you know, because I felt like it's not, not something you should talk about, you know. So besides that, um, I believe in positivity. I believe in being really, really grateful. No matter what things might have happened in your life, just being very grateful for everything that you are, are actually experiencing in your life right now, you know, because it actually made you the person that you are today. That's the most important part, right? It's like who you are today is because of your past experiences and all the things that you've been through. So again, that quote, let pain push you and your vision pull you. I thought that was an amazing quote that I've heard from Michael Bernal. It was really, really good. It captivated me. And it's so true. It's so, so, so true. I think it's brilliant. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to pop in here and say a few things. Something that I'm currently going through. Wanted to share as well. And um, on top of that, just woke up this morning, said a little prayer, and just was so grateful for everything. Just taking some time and just being so grateful for everything that you have and everything that you're going through. No matter what it is, you know, I feel like God is always on our side, no matter what, what we're going through. Because sometimes it can be really, really hard and you kind of get slapped in the face half the time because life is all about ups and downs. If it's not with the ups and downs, then it just kind of gets boring, I think, right? But overall, it's just been a really big roller coaster for me. Every single day keeps getting better. I keep telling myself and you guys is that every single day when you just keep pushing, Getting yourself out of that zone of just being depressed. If you are depressed right now, snap out of it. Do something different. I met a friend yesterday that helped me a lot, just kind of expressing and talking and kind of getting in that flow of things. It really, really helped. Um, and just talking about business ideas. Talk about stuff that actually makes you happy and actually makes you really enjoy life. That really, really helps. But waking up in the morning and just being super grateful really helps as well. Just take those five minutes and just say thank you for everything. It really, really works. Grateful for everything that you have, you know. Um, but to be honest, I've been having like really, really hard time sleeping. Sleep, for me, like sleep has been very difficult. Sleep in general is just even drinking tea, even like sometimes I have melatonin at night just to get some sleep. And it's just been very difficult to sleep in moments like these. Like for me, for instance, um, going through a really hard time, I've just noticed some things that are really difficult. And the way I get through them is <laughs> trying to decompress myself, listen to, listen to music and like talk to people and like trying to figure out a lot of different things in my life right now because it's just a big shift for me. I don't know if any of you guys have been through a divorce. It's a very, very, very big shift in your life. 
all of a sudden you are just knocked off your feet all of a sudden just knocked out seriously you're so used to this person you know you're so used to him you've been with him for 11 years and then all of a sudden you are in a new house new place new food I'm a vegan I have to figure it out and then you are going through depression anxiety you're going through so many different things in your life and that it just drives you crazy it just drives you crazy and then that person's not there you wake up you're all alone you are just it kind of just shifts your whole life just completely you were it just completely just turns your whole life around completely and um, from that you just have to figure it out honestly you just have to figure it out at the end of the day you just have to figure it out <sighs> and I've been doing just that oh my god you know like I've been having some crazy crazy um, emotions too I don't know if I want to express my experience of divorce it's very difficult for me it's been very emotional very emotional very distressed and it's just been very crazy for me but in my ways of coping with it is just pushing myself like the guy said let pain push you and your vision pull you and I think that is so true that is so so true that's the only way you can get out of these kind of situations it just helps on so many levels when you're focused on something so much greater something that excites you and it just pulls you out of that situation because if it doesn't pull you out you're gonna be stuck there for days months or years you know why do that to yourself right so I've just been constantly doing something that makes me happy every single day you guys that's drinking coffee in the morning I'm not joking drinking coffee talking to my family talking to my friends I like to talk um, helps me express myself and um, just doing things like videos pictures building something I always wanted my own kind of brand and um, just keeping my head up high I think that's very important when we're focused on something that's greater than you just keep it keeps pushing you every single day and I think that's so important for us to do that because then you just start exploring your mind just goes in all these different places it becomes like a playground you know a playground in your mind it just becomes a playground it's like the coolest thing ever you just sit there have a cup of coffee or some tea and you just play you know in your head or like all these different things you could possibly do it's really cool it's really fun so I encourage you guys to focus your your energy flows where your focus goes I think that's how it goes your focus no your energy flows where the focus goes yes something like that so I personally think when we focus on something that we truly love, it just pushes us out of all situations and it makes us feel really happy. I think that's very, very important. And not dwelling on the past and maybe just sharing our stories. I think when we share our stories, it really, really helps a lot to get through situations and it helps us connect. I think that's very, very important. Um, but... I've never talked about certain things before in my life, so for me to open up and talk to people about it, to you guys, is very, very important to me because it's not about me at, at the end of the day. It's not about me. It's about those kids. It's about those young adults growing up, going through crazy, crazy, crazy stuff in their life. Um, I feel like me sharing my story, how I got out of these situations, how I stayed positive, and how I pushed myself out of those crazy times would help people. I think that's very important. I feel like expressing ourselves is very, very important when it comes to these kinds of things. Like for me, when I was going through my phase of suicide, it was very difficult for me to snap out of it. It was very, very hard for me. I just constantly wanted to do it because in those moments you just feel like you're not worthy enough, you're not strong enough, you're not, no one wants you, no one wants to be with you, or no one cares about you. You just go through that phase of like no one cares. So it's better if you're not there, you know? And that's when you start doing crazy stuff, you guys. That's when you start doing crazy stuff. You start drinking everything, you start doing all kinds of stuff, and it just becomes really crazy. And I think the best way to get over those situations is um, surrounding yourself with really good people 
and doing things that you love and staying positive and always being grateful. That's something I've learned that helped me get out of those situations. <sighs> How can a suicidal person be grateful, I think? Oh my God, it's so crazy. I think in those situations, you just kind of look at something to be grateful for. I think it's really hard to tell that to a teenager. <laughs> But that was me. I don't know what it was. It was like the craziest thing for me. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just sharing. Just sharing. But um, there's just so many great stories out there that I've experienced throughout my whole life. I'm willing to share. I want to talk, express, and share some love and joy and peace with you guys. And I hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday. Amazing, amazing Tuesday. And um, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.